Joining us now live via satellite from a maximum security fish tank, Little Nemo. Hello. So tell us, Nemo, what happened? How did you end up in prison? Well, it all started like three years after I got back from that tank in the dentist's office, you know, and uh, my friend Squirt, mm, Squirt the sea turtle, uh, yeah, the turtle dude, he, uh, he came to visit me and uh, he got me to try weed. Weed? Yeah, dude, you know, seaweed. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Well, didn't you know how dangerous it was? There's lots of crap floating around out there. Dumb slogans like, don't get tangled with weed, and weed is a crook, so don't take the hook. That kind of bilge. I know all kinds of reefer heads. Excuse me, Nemo. Reefer heads? Yeah, guys from the reef, you know, they dabble around with some weed, and uh, they, uh, they just had fun, you know. They were flying high and not sinking to the bottom. You know, it looked harmless. So, you tried weed. How did it make you feel? Well, like the first time I was dizzy and lightheaded and a little green around the gills and finally understood what Bubbles' deal was. Well, if it made you sick, then why'd you keep doing it? I don't know. I was bored, you know. There's really not a lot to do on the reef. Didn't your father try to stop you, or wasn't he concerned? Oh, he didn't know. He, how, he didn't know? No, he, uh, he uh, gave me a lot of freedom, you know, after the whole fish tank, dentist thing, and probably too much looking back. Uh, Either that or I just thought it was Dory rubbing off on me. Okay, so you kept doing weed. How long were you using it? Uh, when I got busted, I'd been using it for like two years. Two years? Wow. How'd you get caught? Well, uh, Mr. Ray caught us behind the school one day, and with the zero tolerance policy, he had to narc us out, man. Well, what did Marlin, your father, have to say? Oh, he was pretty pissed off, dude. He uh, couldn't believe I brought weed into his anemone and violated his trust and that I was a drug addict. And I told him I wasn't an addict and I could quit whenever I wanted. And he was like, you think you can do these things, but you just can't, Nemo. God, I hate it when he says that. Okay, so uh, you went to the police and you ended up going to trial. Tell me, what was the trial like? It pretty much sucked. I mean, uh, at first I thought it was going okay, you know, though I just get a slap on the fin since I'm disabled. Then that damn dentist came in and testified that I was an escape risk and so then you know squirt he just got like shell arrest but I got sent here to a maximum security prison and been in here for like a year now and I have about six months left and then I have six months in a halfway tank well what are you gonna do when you get out I don't know man I you know I don't know if my dad will let me back home I you know, crash at Dory's but she probably doesn't remember me uh, I've been thinking about getting a job in an aquarium, you know, to help the new fish adjust. Uh, that way, you know, some good can come out of this, you know. Uh, I can give back to the community. Well, it sounds like your wildlife rehabilitation worked, and you've been doing a lot of thinking. Uh, any closing words to the kids out there? Stay in school, you know. Don't do it. You know, it seems like fun, but it's a real drag. It, it can get you in a lot of hot water, you know. Drugs are a trap. that They, they, they like, box you in, and... And before you know it, you're just swimming around in circles, man. Just swimming around in circles. Well, Nemo, thank you for your time, and best of luck to you in the future. Thanks, man. You too.